Water industry comprises water and wastewater services, both of which are provided publicly in Ireland by local authorities. The Dublin City Council is one of six such local authorities in Dublin. I am investigating the potential for energy recovery using microhydro turbines and wastewater services, both in wastewater collection infrastructure and in treatment plants. I am approaching the project from both a technical and an organisational perspective and will be working between the schools of engineering and business in Trinity College. My academic supervisors are Dr. Angus McNabola and Professor Paul Coughlin. So the role of engineering in this project is um, about marrying hydropower technology, which is a mature technology for generating energy, and the wastewater drainage system. So what we would like to do is to look into areas of the drainage network where we can use the energy that that flow of sewage essentially has to try and convert that into um, electricity using hydropower turbines. If you're to realise an opportunity um, for innovation um, in this area or indeed others, a number of different organisations need to come together. Initially they may come together as a strategic network um, to exploit this potential um, and then go away. I think the really interesting part of this project is how as a range of organisations as a network, they might come together as a learning network. Wastewater collection and treatment is an extremely energy intensive and thus expensive service. This is the wastewater treatment plant in Rings End which caters for most of Dublin. The plant opened in 2003 and was part of a 300 million euro project. Michael Kenny from the treatment plant spoke to me about the annual energy requirements of the plant. We generally use about 5 megawatts of power um, for a, a dry, for a normal day, or for a, as, as we call it, dry weather flow, um, then we can it can go up to double that uh, under some conditions. My research aim is to recover energy from the useful flows through treatment plants, pumping stations, and sewage networks using hydropower turbines. This will reduce both the cost and carbon footprint of the wastewater service. This is one industry example of energy recovery from the inlet works of a wastewater treatment plant in Yorkshire, England. It is the first installation in the UK to use untreated sewage for hydropower generation. A feasibility study was carried out for the sewer outfall of Kent wastewater treatment plant. The results are very favourable with similarly large cost savings but the scheme has not been put in place to date. So this is the reason behind my research project. The engineering idea is valid, but there hasn't been enough work done to date to realise the potential of hydropower in the wastewater in industry. Um, I hope to change this by designing turbine operations that can be easily incorporated into various parts of wastewater infrastructure, and also by developing a business model to ensure a successful implementation of my designs. My ambition is a more sustainable and cost-efficient wastewater service.